Hey there, welcome to the 57th Easy JavaScript tutorial part of easyprogramming.net. I hope you're all staying safe during this pandemic. I wanted to take some time to do a quick little JavaScript tutorial uh, while I work on other Raspberry Pi tutorials which will come your way later on. So I wanted to tackle something that I had to deal with at work recently, which is we have a bunch of JSON coming our way and we need to extract two bits of data and we don't know what the structure looks like. So I set up this quick example to show you that you can use a recursive method to comb through JSON and find what you need. So let's say we're looking to extract the name and the city from this array of JSON objects. I have four different kinds, or three different kinds actually. So the name is here and the city is inside a location object. For this, for our second object, the name is out here. So is the same. So is the city is at the same level. The third object looks the same as the first object, and the fourth object is uh, like way deep down inside an address object, inside a location, inside a quadrant. I just made the sub just for. Uh, just for illustration purposes. So we're gonna create a recursive function that will do what we need. So let's just go to JavaScript tab. So I already have the array in a variable called data. So I'm doing let data and I have the array set up here. So I'm just gonna collapse this so that I can start working here. It's just a little bit easier for you to follow. So since we're gonna be creating a function, uh, a, a recursive function, so let's create that function now. We'll just call it iter eight objects or iterate object, um, we'll pass in another object. And we've done this before where it's, we're using the for and loop. So the for, prop, and object. And what we wanna do is we wanna see what uh, type of information we're passing. So if we're passing another object, so let's say we're going you know, for and name, for and job, and then for and location, if this is an object, we wanna pass it back into iterate objects and return a value or a, or not return a value, but pass it into the object to be outputted into our console. Uh, we won't output anything anything into the into the screen. So we'll do if type of object, you know, property. So again, you know, object. This object's this property is um, this is how you access it. If this this is an object, right? We'll do iterate object object. So we're just saying that new property. Else, we'll just output something. So if prop equals to name, let me just double quotes, name, or prop equals to city, we'll output it to our console. So the console log prop, um, I'm just going to do to uppercase just to change the location to like, like yelling at you location. Um, object property. So we'll output it as you see here, you know, minus the quotation, so it'll say location, uh, or sorry, it'll say city, Austin, uh, minus the quotes. If it's an object, it'll pass it back into this and it'll get re-outputted um, somewhere uh, in, in the next iteration. So we need to call this function. So what we need to do is we need to pass in our, our data, right? So um, for we need to loop through it actually. So there are a couple ways you can do this. You can use data filter, um, but or you can use a, a for each loop. Uh, it doesn't really matter since we're not returning anything or not modifying anything. Data filter really doesn't matter. But just to practice, we'll just do data filter, right? Item, you know, arrow function, iterate object, and then we'll pass in item. Uh, probably should have called this something else, but whatever. Um, and that. And this is all we should need. So it'll iterate through the uh, the data and call this function uh, one by one. So it'll call it four times. And inside here, it'll loop a bunch of times. It'll call this function uh, iteratively uh, once, uh, twice, and then three, four, five times, right? So let's open my console. I'm just gonna zoom in, really. And then we'll do, right, save, blah, blah, run. There we go. So let's say, you know, so there we go. It extracted uh, my name, city, name, city, name, city, name, city. So it doesn't didn't matter how deep this was, uh, how many levels it was. So even if it was 100 levels down, it would iterate through and get just the city as we expected. Well, if you have any questions, do ask. Uh, again, stay safe, stay home until all of this blows over. Uh, if you have any questions, ask. Be sure to visit easyprogramming.net. You know, I, I do have a lot of content here. I'm trying to grow more. Um, and if you want to see a tutorial covered, let me know. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.